Yeah. Really and I was in San Francisco when well, RBJ Day. Current was telling us that that very famous picture of somebody, a sailor kissing someone, was you. Well, it could have been. Because <laughs> he, was, he was pretty much into that kind of thing. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? He might have been doing the delightful stuff. <laughs> well, no, those girls were anxious to be but, kissed. You know, but then, I'll tell you how tough it was when well, we were in a typhoon on Okinawa and, and our whole camp, the Listerman's camp, had completely flooded out. And the uh, skipper had bought, we just had six new trucks, so he was going to protect the camp, so we put them down on the beach. And after that was over, the sand dune was right over the top of all the trucks. Oh my God! Isn't that when you saw a plane actually flying, flying backwards? backwards in that type the, of the wind flying so backwards? Oh my build the camp, they sent us back to Pearl Harbor and all of that. most of them went home from Pearl Harbor because they'd been out there and there was a, they'd been shipped yeah, up, some, mm -hmm. up to Okinawa from somewhere else and they'd been out there a long time but I hadn't so they, I was one of the ones who was eligible to stay out there longer, stay, stay somewhere. Stay in the and so but they sent me back to Pearl Harbor for reassignment. I went back on an aircraft carrier. When I got there my after a couple of days, I asked the skipper, I said, well, in his words, I said, can I go down and see if there's something that they want me to do around this place down at the naval base? And, and uh, he said, frankly, I don't give a damn what you do. <laughs> <laughs> they were really into it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway, a real good friend of mine, my tent mate on Okinawa, uh, I went down to the uh, Island Command and went in and asked for the personnel director and find out and they said can you tell me who to see if there's anything around here that you want a guy to do to just come back from Okinawa and looking waiting for reassignment and he and he directed me to somebody I remember who it was and he said yeah he said we need a courier he said and I said well what's a courier and he said well <laughs> it's somebody that hauls messages from Island Command down to the submarine command he said, if I want to come down every morning, you can come down and we'll give you a jeep and you can go down there and pick up, we'll take the orders down there and then you bring back whatever they bring back. And he said, because we, we don't want this information to be done any other way but that way. Carrier, yeah. and, so, and he said, if you've got a friend, he said, I'd like you to bring him because he thinks there ought to be two people. I said, I don't, I don't think one person ought to do this. So my friend from Okinawa and I, he joined me and then we, they gave us a jeep and we were there for six weeks, and we went down and got those orders and took them to the submarine base. And we were back by 10 o'clock almost every day, and the rest of the time we had the Jeep to do whatever we wanted. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the Army, Mr. Jones. No private rooms or telephones. You had your breakfast in bed before. But you won't have it there anymore. So how long were you there in total? Well, on, in all in the war? Waiting for reinvestment. Yeah, oh, you that, mean yeah at that part, at that, that point. That's when I, then I got reassigned yeah, back reassigned. to Guam again, went mm -hmm. my second tour back there. But anyway, yeah. but anyway, don't you think that's pretty tough duty? Pretty tough duty. <laughs> yeah, I had, I had similar. Sounds like you two both had a great We, we both locked out. Yeah. Yeah, of course, you have to be a little bright to take opportunities. Too. <laughs> and you have to go go and ask somebody, don't you have something to do? Right, I had yeah. to do that in Germany. Well, maybe, you know, that's right. You had, to, you had to be a little bit forceful with yourself. So that, you know, yeah, but who'd take wanna, initiative. Right? Who would want to sit around in a barracks for six weeks? Right, yeah. All I right. did that for about a week in Germany. That was enough. This is the Army, Mr. Green. We like the barracks nice and clean. You had a housemaid to clean your floor, but she won't help you out anymore. Do what the buglers command. They're in the Army, 
and not in the band. 